<laughs> Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's Big Brandon Carter, BBC. People ask me, man, what kind of protein powder did I use? All right, let's get into it. For a long time, I only used whey protein, all right? And I would just buy the cheapest brand, whatever was around, always chocolate, because all other flavors suck. I buy the, I usually get on, I usually get on, not because, just because it's, it's, it's sold at such a good price online. I'll put links in the description where you can get each supplement. Uh, yeah, man, I, that's where I find it cheap online, on Amazon. I buy almost everything on Amazon. Fucking toothpaste, toilet paper. Uh, I'm down road with Jeff Bezos, man. Bezos gang, fool. K the reason I use casein, I, 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 I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Casein and whey is because whey is a uh, fast absorbing protein, man. This shit absorbs with the quickness, man. That's where casein is a slow absorbing protein. So what I do is I mix them both together because I like to get the same flavor, chocolate always, and I mix them both together. And that way I'm getting the best of both worlds. I get a scoop of whey, which is gonna get in my system immediately, and then I get a scoop of casein, so which is gonna be absorbed over time. But like, I get the 25 instantly, and then the other grams are slow. And this way I'm just, and I do this man a few times a day, I take this a few times a day, uh, this is the way just my body just always and protein and my, my body's always getting protein and it keeps me out of a, a catabolic state. When I, when I drink a few of these shakes a day, it keeps my body in muscle building, <laughs> in muscle building mode. Okay, so I probably take all casein, like two scoops of casein before I go to sleep. My body absorbs protein for a good portion of the night, so I stay in muscle building mode while I'm sleeping. So anyway, that's just what I do. You don't have to do that, man. You don't have to do this shit. This is not a, it's not a requisite. Like people all ask me all the time, do you need protein? You don't need protein powder. You don't need any supplements. You don't need it. It's just, it's a supplement, man. It's just like you don't need vitamins. Take vitamins to make sure you meet your requirements. But ideally, you'd want to get most of your vitamins from fruits and vegetables, you know. Most of us don't do that, including myself. You know, I should, but I don't. So what I do is I take vitamins in order to supplement my vitamin intake and it's the same thing with the protein man like I uh, it'd be best to get I think it's I think if you can get protein from real food it's better than supplements I honestly believe that I believe that wholeheartedly if you can get your protein from real protein sources it's better just for I take protein powders because of convenience that's how I do it man I do it because of convenience not because I think it's better and not because I think you need it like it's just easier and cheaper for me to get 50 grams of protein from a from a shake than it is for me to get 50 grams of protein from a steak. I'd actually rather get I'd actually rather get it from the fucking steak. I'd rather get it from the fucking steak, right? But what if you're on the move, man? Like I eat six meals a day, man. Am I gonna eat? Am I really gonna? Can you really expect me to eat six steaks a day? Like I that's not. I, I know I'm not gonna be able to accomplish that. All right. It's protein shakes in order to supplement my protein intake. Not because you need protein shakes to build muscle. You just need protein. Get it from wherever you can get it from. You know what I'm saying? Get it from wherever you can get it from. It's just easier. I find personally find it easier to get it from shakes than to get it from real food 24 hours a day. You know, I definitely eat my good. I definitely eat a good amount of real food. You and that's with all supplements, bro. Even creatine. Like you can get creatine from just eating red meat. It's in red meat. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but. Then again, just like how many steaks are you going to eat per day, right? And how much is that going to cost you? How convenient is that for you? You know what I'm saying? And can I, can I really walk around Manhattan with a bag full of steaks? So it's easier for me to just take my creatine and powder form. It's just easier for me. I'm not saying it's better. It's just easier for me. The, the, the homie Greg Pitt, he gets most of his uh, protein from shakes. Now, he, his argument is that your body absorbs liquid nutrients easier than it absorbs uh, solid nutrients. Your body doesn't have to use uh, valuable energy to digest it. It just goes straight into your system. That's Greg's argument. You know, that's why he says he gets the majority. He eats about one or two real meals a day and the rest is from shakes, you know. Now the thing is, Greg Pitt is also sponsored by Metrix. So of course it makes sense for him to say, <laughs> so I, I wonder if that's part of the reason why he says, yeah, drink Me I drink Metrix all day, every day. <laughs> but some of that, some of what he says makes sense. I've been a fucking personal trainer and nutritionist certified bitch for over 10 years. So like a lot of what he says does make sense. That's why I'm so big on juicing. Like I juice, the, I juice my vegetables and my fruit because I know that like uh, that liquid, when it's liquid, it does get into you a little quicker. But I have a video on juicing. Uh, if you want to check it out, man, I have a video on juicing. It's, I'll put a link in the description. So anyway, that's just how I do it, man. I'm kind of ranting a little bit, but um. Yeah, 
As far as protein is concerned, I take casein and whey, I mix them together. Alright, hope that helps.